He, he was out here. <laughs> Oh, taking it to town game one banjo kazooie versus or banjo and kazooie i should say versus rob so this matchup we're going to see a lot of projectiles most likely we're going to see a lot of guys press their advantage if i had to describe ray's play style with banjo i feel like he just he's he's really really good defensively just based on how i've seen him play with other characters but his advantage i'd say is like one of the best with Banjo. Like, he just knows how to keep the opponent in the corner almost at all times. Just look at all this damage. Like, that was absolutely beautiful. I love the way he was using the bomb and even his, even Jonathan's own gyro and just collecting all this damage. Like, he's at 133. Now he's at 140 just because he was stuck at ledge and he couldn't get out of disadvantage. Like, that to me is a top notch Banjo play. Yeah, Joshathan just can't seem to get out of the corner whatsoever. Ray just has him completely smothered just using this grenade. Uh, finally, though, managing to get some semblance of stage control right here. And but, but Ray's grenade play, item play, has all just been great. He's either just been taking trades with Joshathan and just he's tacked on so much damage. So, so much. And how, how does Joshathan, how do you get out of the corner if you're Joshathan right now? I guess with that there, but... I think he just needs to stick to ledge more. Like, I think if he just let himself gain some invincibility on the ledge, ledge get up for ledge, he'd be fine. I right, feel down throw, Ray. and that's it. Oh! Ray, Ray tried to go for a, a roll behind grab to kind of get the net the stock off right there. I feel like he could have just done, like, sliding F tilt. That definitely probably would have killed uh, with Banjo, because uh, Arm Rotor has a lot of end lag, and especially if Rob whiffs, he's. He's pretty much just a sitting duck for any sort of offensive option. And now Ray is kind of just giving up that first stock because of that. I feel like he could have taken that, that stock off real easily, but instead opted for the guaranteed kill. So, yep, just down throw. And it, uh, as your percent goes up, it does become a lot harder for characters to mash out of it. So that was pretty much just a free up smash right there for Ray at that point. See, it seems like just Ray has been doing such a good job of maintaining center stage control and keeping Josh in the corner. And I think that's where Rob kind of struggles the most when the opponent's kind of just right in their face in the corner. They do have like very, very immaculate boxing tools, but Rob does take a while to get back to stage uh, a lot of the time. I, and I know that uh, Rob doesn't really struggle at all to keep Banjo at disadvantage as well, just how, how well he can box, keep Banjo out. And off stage as well, Banjo doesn't really have a lot of avenues to mix up his recovery rather than just using like Wonder Wing at certain points. And we're seeing that right here, like he he just made a complete reversal on the damage right there. Ooh. When in doubt, yeah. throw Wonder Wing out. <laughs> Down throw, up tilt, and yeah. I won't do it just I couldn't do it quite yet. Rob, Rob do be a big boy. He may not be the heaviest big character, but he is, my man is just comprised of metal. All right, though. He finally got it, though. Mm -hmm. That little smash there. It that is also good. down, so dying off the top will be a little bit more of a struggle for a lot of the characters. Uh, which is great, which is, I'd say, not so great for either of these characters. Uh, but when it comes off to kill, like, when it comes to killing off the side as well, uh, I don't think Banjo or Rob really struggle with that at all. And this is looking kind of scary for Ray, though Ray has like maintained stage control for a majority of this game. Joshathan is looking very, very comfortable in the corner uh, a lot of the time, as as a lot of revs tend to do. And also, I feel like these trades with the grenade kind of exploding have also been kind of negatively affecting uh, Ray as well, because he's forced to take trades that he may not necessarily be winning all the time. God, what can Ray now? Now Ray is like struggling to get in, uh, just a little bit, getting picked off right there. I feel like 
I feel like maybe not just the grenade would be helpful for trying to keep Rob at bay. Maybe like mixing up a few eggs here or there just to disrupt the tempo because it seems Josh has become quite aware of how uh, Ray intends to be using the grenade. He's, rather, he's opting to take it out uh, with both laser and gyro. It's a scary spot though on the ledge. Now both these guys just trying to find their kill, and that's gonna be it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, just it, ju it just looked really hard for both players at certain points to try, try and find a landing. Like Ray was really trying his best to get out of there, but he was forced to kind of take to the air, and, and Josh then managed to pick him off just for that. Ooh, yeah. Tried going for the fair, ended up whiffing it, and then he tried to get a little too cheeky with the grenade to try and cover his landing, but Josh then was ready for it and was just under that middle platform, just sharking for that landing. Really good stuff. So I wonder if we're gonna see a swap from Ray or if he's just gonna stay banjo. I, you can never tell with Ray. He like he's very very confident in this banjo at this point. Uh, I, I remember when he first picked up banjo and everyone was like, "This guy's crazy." And then his band just started like taking really good names. And I was like, oh, oh. It's a real character. <laughs> this is a real thing. Three, two, one. So the winner of this will be making it into winner's side top eight. So right now, so this is winner's side top eight point right now for Josh. Oh no! Oh. No. No, <laughs> it's not. It's like the exact opposite of what you want to see at this point in bracket, as well. I don't know what happened there. I guess uh, Ray fast fell just a little bit too hard and ended up dropping that first stock really, really quickly. If I'm Josh, then though, I'm popping off for that one. Like, yes, I outplayed. <laughs> Josh then now been taking a more aggressive approach now that we've opted for FD, kind of just closing less space and using all of these amazing boxing tools from Rob to kind of keep Ray out. The man is definitely struggling to get in just a bit. Yeah, this, this is looking rough if you're Utopian Ray right now. I don't know how he's gonna answer that. Just, he's at that point where it's like, now that Josh is in that high percent, Pretty much run away or really oh, but that was really good. Let's yeah. go there, go for the up smash. I wonder if uh cause Josh then seems like he's very comfortable with having the lead, but rather than kind of just staying back and keeping it, he's just kind of trying to fight his way out of the corner and right? even being a little aggressive at times on red. That's been getting him hit a fair amount as well, but I know Rob's advantage on Banjo is like stupid crazy. Oh boy. This is looking very, very rough for Utopian Ray right now. Just struggling to kind of find any sort of landing on, uh, on Josh. And Josh is just maximizing his punishes so, so well. Whoa, the parry on that back here. That was crazy. Oh, I thought that was going to kill. That was, that was so close to killing. I remember it was a hair away from the blast zone. And Ray coming alive now at 122. You know, he's he's been finding his advantage really, really well right now against Josh. Oh, One more up air, though, we'll see his face. He's got to be very, very careful on these landings. Ooh, he's kind of schmoving. Oh, no. Okay, just getting hit by the gyro right there. Where's the punish? Great spot dodge right there to avoid that. Right, dancing with death right now. And now this is very close. Like, uh, Josh then's getting to the percent where one really well spaced Wonder Wing is going to end that stock and Ray was going to make a complete comeback. Uh, Josh then just has to catch one more landing and then he'll close it out. Oh no! Oh my god, oh, he's serious! Yo, fate on Ray's side right now. I think he only has one Wonder Wing left. <gasps> no way! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
He had him sweating though. Ray came alive that last stock. That was nuts. Holy moly. That was so Amazing. close. Ray was playing out of his mind and finally picked up like John Josh then was acting acting very, very scared and disadvantaged right there and almost had it, but going for a whiffed grab on kill percent uh, is scary. Especially against Josh Rob. Josh was just staying in shield, just mm -hmm. like spot dodging plays. He's just like, no, don't do it. Don't grab me. He is like, Rob, like, that up smash is like probably one of the best out of shield punishes in the entire game just because it scoops you in. So even if you are you think you're at a safe range sometimes, you'll just get scooped in. Man. But man, Ray played out of his mind those last few stocks right there. He was in Josh's head super duper hard. Really, really unfortunate. He was catching all these rolls so well, too. From, Josh then would roll behind out of disadvantage literally every single time, and Ray finally caught on to it. Oh, man.